What's up everybody, it's your boy Meme here. Um, it's day right now, it's 3.05 p.m., uh, which means that my schedule isn't that weird anymore. Uh, I've been recording videos at night like a crazy person, uh, and that's just because, I don't know, I've, I've, had, I've had a weird schedule lately, especially with school and, and work. Um, I don't know, uh, on weekends I've been recording my videos at night, and that just doesn't make sense. I woke up at 8.30 this morning, um, and I applied for a new credit card. I applied for the PayPal Cashback MasterCard. And the reason why is because it's 2% cash back everywhere and 3% cash back on things with PayPal. Um, so if I just pay for all of my online purchases with PayPal, that's 3% cash back. Um, and my Discover card only has 1% cash back on everything as opposed to the PayPal cards, 2%. Um, I would have gone with the Fidelity Cashback card, um, but, but that's just 2% everywhere and there's no 3% for anything. Um, and so the Fidelity card is also a good cashback card, but if you really want to optimize with like PayPal, um, I would consider a good cash a cashback card to be um, the PayPal um, cashback MasterCard. Um, however, you know, it's important to keep in mind, uh, you could probably maybe get better benefits if you do something like, um, like the Chase, like Freedom Unlimited or Freedom Flex, uh, but those are, if I recall correctly, 1.5 times cashback cards. So um, for pure cashback, I'm not necessarily sure if I agree with those cards, you know, just as pure cashback cards. Um, not to mention, uh, what? Uh, a lot of people like the city double cash, but I don't really like how it's 1% uh, as you make the purchase and 1% when you pay it off. So I was just doing a lot of research into catch all 2% cards and I thought that the PayPal MasterCard would be a good idea and especially considering it's only a hard inquiry if you're approved not if you're de denied um, You know, uh, it just seemed like a good idea And so I was thinking well, you know, there's no reason not to apply because if I get denied It's not gonna be a hard inquiry. So um, I applied and I got approved with a $1,000 credit limit So I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, the card will show up in seven to ten business days And so I just gotta wait for that, uh, but it's already on my Apple Pay. They're able to put it on there. So that's cool uh, yeah, I set up my, um, domains to pay with the PayPal, but, you know, once I get, um, the card itself, I can set up more things with payment, like my YouTube premium subscription and stuff, with, which right now is only getting 1% cash back on the Discover card, and, uh, instead of that, I'll get 2% cash back on the PayPal card, so, yeah. Um, where's... Excuse me? What? Where did my advent calendar go? I'm gonna... Look for my advent calendar really quick. Be right back. Uh, okay, I'm back. Apparently, when I threw my advent calendar over there, it went in between my mattress and my headboard and got under my bed. So, um, I got it. Today's the 10th of December, so we're going to be going for number 10, which is right here. It's crazy how we're almost halfway through. That's a good place to throw it. Um, a bag or like another Santa hat it's way easier for it to focus when it's daytime no water it's so over um, Do I have chocolate on me? No, oh, I'm good. Okay. I typically try to drink water after I eat the advent calendar chocolate because it kind of melts in my mouth. And I've got to, um, I don't like seeing chocolate in my mouth, so I gotta drink water, but there's no water. But luckily, you know, they're good, they're good tea flies. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I woke up at around 8.30, I applied for that credit card. Um, my dad made, with the leftover chicken fingers, he made like Burger King chicken sandwiches. Uh, which did look exactly like
I accidentally paused my video, which did look exactly like a Burger King chicken sandwich. So that was good. Uh, but, you know, then I um, turned in a business assignment. <clears throat> and then I turned in my uh, business final, which I got an 84 out of 100 on, which is fine, you know. Uh, if Anthony Fantana reviews an album and he gives it an 8 out of 10, you know, that means it's a pretty good album. So, uh, an 8 out of 10 on my business final, you know, <laughs> uh, it's, it's pretty good. Um, I don't know, nothing else is really going on. Um, I'm gonna probably walk on the treadmill for a couple miles and then I'm gonna play some Minecraft and then I'm gonna go to bed. Well, I'm gonna eat dinner and then go to bed, I guess. Uh, but yeah, alright, see you.